Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. So today <clears throat> used to be Family and Children Wednesday. And what it is in the new year, this Wednesday, we're using it to be Friendship Tuesday. So friendship and relation, I mean, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> friendship and relationship are just Relationship Wednesday. Uh, really is the name of it. And what we're going to do on Wednesdays is really just talk about uh, relationship in general. Sometimes it'll be relationship with your children that we're talking about. Sometimes it'll be relationship with your friends. Sometimes it'll be relationship with your adult parents. Sometimes it'll be relationships at work. But what we really want to talk about uh, and we really want to dr drill into is your relationships. And sometimes relationships with your <clears throat> boyfriend. Sometimes relationships with your boyfriend. Girlfriend. Your girlfriend, I thought, yeah, dating type. Oh, okay, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know we were going to we gonna do all that. Honey. My so wife, she wants to talk about boyfriends and dating. I'm so far beyond that. Well, I still date you a little bit, but yeah. not, not. You have to date me. Not like you that. Okay. I was just going <laughs> to say something. We were in Tampa yesterday, and I was going to take her back to one of our old dating spots, but I decided not to. Yeah. <laughs> anyway good morning good morning good morning. good morning let's get going here let's shout out let's pray why don't we pray for us yes go ahead honey. Heavenly father i just thank you right now father for this day thank you father for everyone that's present this morning father continue yes. to seek and pursue your way lord yes father i just know the cups will be filled this morning lord Amen. their lives will be whole yes, transformed man. and i just thank you father right now for our relationships today lord I just thank you, Father, as we deal in our relationships, Lord, as we hear we hear the Holy Spirit speak to us loud and clear, Father. Yes. And we know what to do in every given moment. In the name of Jesus, amen. Yes. And good, can I give a few shouts? Before I give a shout out, I want to tell y'all, you know, this morning when you woke up, the Holy Spirit just told me to tell you this. This morning when you woke up, there are people that woke up this morning believing God. Uh, believe in God for a job, believe in God for a house payment, believe in God to be healed, uh, believe in God to be restored. There are people that woke up this morning with a heavy burden, uh, and, and I don't like to just call it a heavy burden, but woke up this morning having to trust God. You know, if you woke up this morning and your day was normal, in other words, everything was pretty much okay in your day, and you were going to just go through your day, Know that you're having a good day because there are people that woke up this morning with heavy, heavy burdens on their hearts. And the first thing about friendship is we need to understand that the Bible commands us to pray one, one, one for another. OK, so Terry, good morning to you. Uh, Miss Cynthia, good morning to you. Madeline, good morning to you. Ray, uh, good morning to you. Jeremiah, good morning to you. Harry, good morning. Natifa, good morning. Brandy, good morning. Thomas, great to see you, my brother. Good morning to you, Erica. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Good morning. Uh, Annie, good morning. John, good morning. Erica, Patty, good morning. Good Brenda morning. Jackson, good morning. Desiree, we love you, young lady. Good morning to you. Uh, Brenda Ferrandes, we love you. Good morning good to you. Good morning, everyone. Hallelujah. We love all of y'all. But Al Al Alma, good morning. We love you. Uh, Jennifer, good morning. We love you. Daryl, good morning. You know I love you, brother. Got a lot of love for you. Lakeisha, much love. Candace, much, much love. Veronica, much love. Valerie, good morning, much love. Cousin Desi, good morning, much love. Good morning. Uh, Todd, everybody. good morning, sir. God bless you. Much love on the road. Shanika, yeah. thank you so much for Sunday. God bless you. I pray a blessing in your life. Laureen, thank you. Delia, God bless you, young lady. Uh, and, and, and thank you for your, 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 your obedience to God for being here. Thank you all for being here. Uh, we're going to get started. Like we said, today is friendship. Uh, I mean, not friendship, relationship Wednesday, relationship Wednesday. So what we want to start off by talking about in the new year, since we're going to talk about relationships, the first relationship uh, that we need to talk about in the, 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 the realm of relationships is our relationship with ourselves. Amen. Pastor Franny did, did, you know, she was the one putting this together. And basically she said, you know, if we're going to talk about relationships, the first thing we got to do is we got to have an ideal relationship with ourselves. So we want to talk about over the next, you know, the first couple of weeks of Relationship Wednesday, having a relationship 
with ourselves. How do we love ourselves? Because the Bible says this, you must first show yourself friendly to have friends. Everything in the Bible is about first sowing it. So many people want money before they sow money to get God to do things for them. No, God says give. So many people want to be healed before they want to sow healing or pray for somebody else to be healed. God says, no, it's better to bless than to receive. See, we wait till we're sick, and now we want the Lord to just show up and miraculously do something in our life, but you've never prayed for anybody. And why is that? A lot of times we don't pray for people. Um, we don't think about people. We don't value relationships because we don't value ourselves. Yes. Right? Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. A lot of times we have having problems in relationships and uh, embracing them or doing well in them because we, we don't really like ourselves a lot of the time. Right. We don't like ourselves. We don't like us. I love me. Yeah, I love me now. I didn't always. Oh really? Yeah. So when you so when you say you didn't love you, I mean, how do you not? I, I can't relate to that because I've never not loved me. Yeah, Mister. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lot to love. I mean, I don't get it. I don't understand lack of confidence. So sometimes you hear me struggle with that. I don't understand not loving yourself. I I love me. Well, you but, always have been very optimistic. But 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 when you say you you didn't always love yourself, what does that mean? Um. Well, I guess I shouldn't say I didn't love myself. I didn't feel good about myself because I was uh, inadequate. I felt inadequate. I'm not anymore. I felt like I wasn't enough. I felt but shy. It, but, 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 as beautiful, but as beautiful and as smart as you were in school and all that, mm -hmm. how could you feel inadequate? Oh, easily. That's what the world does. I think the world makes a point to always make you feel like you're not enough. Or And it's really about the now. Always the world is comparisons. We sit and we compare ourselves to others. It starts uh -huh. even as children in, in, in elementary. I, I want to go over to my Facebook know. page for a minute. If any of y'all ever have felt inadequate, give me a thumbs up. If you've ever felt inadequate, are you, what was the other word you used? Timid. Timid, inadequate, yeah, you didn't measure up. G give me a thumbs up. I, I'm sorry, I, I see Pastor Terry's on. I'm going to have to talk to him about this later Get <laughs> Get a little counsel because oh, I got to tell you, I, I've never felt, I've never, uh, yeah. So who, who on here has felt inadequate before? Started early. Okay, I got a couple. All the way from okay. elementary, comparing yourself, it's not smart. You oh. Know, that's what I'm about to say, comparisons aren't wise. Okay, all right, I got, I got some. Okay, so the first thing we, we Pastor Franny, wanted to dig in on when it came to Relationship Wednesday Building our relationships, having the right relationships with people. Another thing that's always helped me with 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 loving me is I've never put like I don't put unrealistic expectations on people, nor do I put unrealistic expectations on myself. So I just, I just don't do that. I don't I don't I don't you know I I know that as long as I give one hundred and fifty percent and I do my very best, right. I, I'm okay with that. So. Number one, I think when we think about relationships, the first number one key to loving yourself, right, and having that right relationship is create yourself as you are right now. I mean, celebrate, I'm sorry, create, celebrate yourself as you are right now. You got to come to the point to where, where you love you right where you're at. I'm not at the ideal weight uh, I want to be at. I have a one pack instead of a six pack. But my wife wants me to have a six pack, so so I'm I'm, wor I'm I'm working on it. But it's coming like one in an inch, two in an inch. The six pack. Maybe they're gonna get plastic surgery to just give me a cut off all my stomach and give me a six pack, and then I'll be like you ladies. I'll just go get me a six pack. I don't know. No, Pastor Nick will never do that. Pastor Nick will never ever do any of that. Amen. So you got to celebrate yourself as you are right now. Yes, Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, what I wanted to say about that, about celebrating yourself, it's really hard because a lot of times, as for women, right. our, our values in our self-image. Right. So if you're not the ideal, whatever the ideal is now, right. you feel... You break, feel remember the song, Brick House? She's yeah. a brick house. 34, 23, 36. <laughs> built like a Mecca Mazan. Y'all remember that song? Pastor Freddie used to be a brick house. Used to. A long time ago. <laughs> But 
<laughs> she's still my brick house. I'm sure we all were. But anyway, but so what she's anyway, saying is, I was yeah, saying that our, our values, women, a lot of times in our self-image, we have to change that. And how that changed for me is when I started to realize that God loved me just like I was. So I was tired of the pressure of, you know, I'm not small enough. I need to lose weight every day of my life. Okay. I'm going to start on Monday on this diet and Monday never came. <laughs> but one day I realized, you know what? I'm going to please God. And the moment I started to realize, God love me just like I'm, it was so empowering and so moving, so amazing. I stopped overeating. I used to have a big overeating problem with sweets. And it just is not, I'm not totally where I want to be, but I'm not like I used to be where I just couldn't eat compulsively. Right. And the scripture for that is John 6 and 37 in the Amplified Bible. All that my father gives me will come to me. And the one who comes to me, I will most certainly not cast out. I will never, never reject anyone who follows me. So follow Christ. Yeah. So the way that you begin to love yourself right where you are is John 6, 37. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to learn to love God and allow that love to then resonate back to you so that you can love yourself. Because when you realize, when you eventually come to the point that you love God, let, let me just say this, and I'm not trying to shake anybody up here or nothing. I'm not trying to get shock value out of this. But if you really have insecurity issues, you probably got to ask yourself, do you really understand your relationship with God? Because for you to not love yourself, knowing that your father created you and you are exactly as he desires you to be, there's a problem there. He loves you. God loves you. God loves you right where you're at. God loves you just as dirty as you are. Amen. God loves you just as ugly as you are. Amen. God loves you just as fat as you are. God loves you just as dumb as you are. Whatever those words are, the enemy tries to use to convince you that you're dumb, you're ugly, you're fat, you're disgusting, you're ignorant. Well, all those words that are from the enemy. Yes. Because God says you're beautiful. Yeah. God, God says that you are wonderfully and fearfully made. You are his. You can't be those things. So that's number one. Celebrate yourself right. as you are right now. Number two, give your spirit, right? Give that spirit in you permission to come to life again. You know, how do we allow the Holy Spirit that's in us? Because that's truly our beauty. Yes. That's truly who we are. You have to stop looking at this earth suit. Yes. We are a spirit. We possess a soul and we live in a body. We are a tripart being. This is just our earth suit. It's a de deteriorating, always changing, yes. always in a perpetual state of death, earth suit. Stop worrying about your earth suit. You got to worry about the spirit man on the inside of you. And how do you do that? Well, number one, the simplest way to do that is you got to take your eyes off the world. The prophetic word. If you did not get the prophetic word, uh, Sunday God gave me a prophetic word for the church. I emailed it out to everybody. If you did not get the email, go check your email. It, we send you the video of it so you can watch it. And we also sent you the PDF so you can download it. If you didn't get it, Type in the box, I did not get my prophetic word, and we're going to get back with you to get your at your email and get it to you. But this is exactly what the prophetic word was about. It was about us taking our eyes off of God and putting our eyes on the world and actually it went further, the conversation of the world. Romans 12 and 2 says this, be you not conformed to this world this age fashioned after and adapted to its external superficial customs think about that superficial customs but be transformed be changed by what by the entire renewal of your mind by its what the word of god 
the Holy Spirit by its new ideas and its new attitudes so that you may prove, watch this, for yourself. Yes. You're not trying to prove anything to God. You're not trying to prove anything to Pastor Nick. Right. You got to prove it to yourself. Prove to yourself what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God, even the thing which is good and acceptable and perfect in his sight for you. Amen. 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 So we need to understand this whole mind renewal process is for us. It's for us. Amen. It's for us. We, we, we got to get a revelation of this. This is where the freedom comes in. Right. This is where the freedom comes in. When you allow your Holy Spirit on the inside of you to become born again, to, to become, to come back to life, to become renewed, you then begin to trust God again. You then begin to step out on faith again. You then begin to believe again. There are some Christians that don't believe. They just don't believe. I had a friend of mine call me yesterday, and he wanted me to agree with him on, on, on some things. And, you know, we prayed. He asked me to pray. We agreed. But I can tell when people call me, people call me for prayer all the time, for all kinds of things mm -hmm. and agreement. I can tell when they believe and when they're just, I can tell when I need to pray or I just need to agree with them. I just needed to agree with them. I didn't even need to pray. I can hear faith. I can hear, you You can hear faith. Even though that person speaking that faith probably had doubt attacking them, probably had fear attacking them. But guess what? You can hear faith. Faith has a sound. My pastor used to say victory has a sound. People who believe, believe. I was I was praying for one of the young ladies in our church in, in 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 the hospital, and she made a statement. I said, "Do you need to FaceTime with me? Do you need to talk to us?" Pastor, send the word on. I could feel her warrior spirit. I could see her holding that sword. Yes, right there, and she was going to overcome. And guess what? She's coming home today. I you believe that what? with all my heart. Yes, she is. Right. You know what? She renewed her mind to what God says. And when you come on with me in the word every morning, that's exactly what you're doing. Yeah. You learn what God says about you, what God thinks about you, which matters. Not how the world thinks. Yes. Not how the world the feels. World how God every feels. Day. What God has to say about like today. You learn number one, you need to celebrate yourself right where right you are. Now, amen. Know that God loves you just as you are. Just Fall in love with God. And then you learn today, you gotta, you gotta reactivate that inner man. Yeah, we're amen. getting, we're working on the you. Then we'll work on the friendships. Some of y'all need to put some of them friendships down for a season and work on the you. We love you. We love you. We love you. Listen, tomorrow is prayer Thursday. I need you to get your prayer requests in. I need you to get your prayer requests in. Please text the word prayer to 75749. Text the word prayer to 75749. I want all 45 of y'all on today to sit to send prayer to that text. And if you don't need prayer, I want you to request prayer for somebody else. I want you to get prayer seed in the ground. I want everybody on the show to go to 75749. Everybody on the broadcast. This is Relationship Wednesday, right? Everybody on the broadcast, go to 75749 in the text box. Type the word when, when you're going to go to put in your text message. Just type prayer. It'll return to you the link, and you fill that out, and your prayer request goes in. I want everybody requesting prayer for somebody. Amen? Amen. We love you. We love you. We love you. Until tomorrow, Pastor Nick, Pastor Franny saying, enjoy life. life.